And every time Shannon comes over, the tortoises get a feast. Look at this one jumping on over the other. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I love it. I love when you come to visit. And this time is fun because I get to get a gift. An animal that was raised up by Shannon just came back home here. It's gonna live here and uh, I'm really excited about that. Hey, what's going on? I want to reintroduce some of the new followers or reintroduce my followers to somebody that we met on this channel during our very first year making videos. And that, of course, for those of you who know this artwork, uh, is my friend Shannon. Um, she is just a really gifted artist and a really interesting human being. She's in her 30s, but she's very much an interesting personality. You guys are gonna see why, and that's because she's autistic. And I became friends with her and her mom, Lee, and she makes me the most beautiful, uh, just intricate designs, taking the old tortoises that may have passed away, well, obviously they did pass away here. And this, of course, is a sulcata tortoise and you can see there's elephants and lions and so she kind of did an entire African menagerie in here, an African theme and I want you guys to meet her. But what we're also doing today is we're going to be setting up a habitat for an animal that I gave her many, many years ago. She wants it to come back here to live with me. Uh, there's the wife, there she is. It's it's uh, the fall, so Kate is putting out some fall decorations. Look, we got a little witch. And what else do we got, Kate? Did, did the kids it's do like this? It's like a pumpkin it's snowman. It's a pumpkin snowman, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Some other spooky Spooky scenes. stuff that the kids made. Yep. Yeah, that's so cute. All right, cool. So today is a little bit about art. We're taking um, an artist named Shannon. She's coming over. She's gonna collect a couple more shells that uh, of deceased tortoises, a couple leopard tortoises that died many years ago. She's gonna take those shells, clean them up, and turn them into beautiful works of art like you just saw. But she's also going to be bringing me one of the Indian star tortoises she got for me years ago, Yujio. And Yujio has been her pet for many years and she just wants it to have um, a newer enclosure, a new home, and so she wants to give it back to me. So today, we're gonna take this Waterland tub that I got from my friend Pete Jansen out in California. He makes Waterland tubs. This is their semi-aquatic uh, setup. Okay, I'm gonna plug that hole. We're gonna go ahead and deck it out, get it on wheels. We're going to uh, make it perfect for a small tortoise, one small tortoise to live in. I wanna kinda keep this tortoise under uh, a roof, like the warehouse, because we're still in the rainy season and the Indian stars do not like a lot of humidity. Um, even though this one was born here in Florida and raised up by Shannon in Florida. I don't want to take any chances. So I'm really excited. We're going to set this up. We're going to meet Shannon. She's going to help us feed some of the animals. And uh, I'm really excited for you guys, the new followers, to check her out. I hope you guys will like it. Uh, she's she's kind of a superhero. Uh, she's autistic and she's got just a very unique way of looking at the world and creating art out of animals that have passed on. And she only uses animals that have died of natural causes never animals that were shot or hunted. So I think you guys will enjoy this. And uh, I'm excited to see her because it's been a little while. But first I'm gonna get to work on this situation and we're gonna go and put it in here so we have a place for the tortoise to come live. All right guys, I'm gonna get to work.
how's everybody doing? Okay, it is extremely hot and humid today, but uh, I'm happy with this. It's very, very simple, guys. I use the Reptibark, I use Fluker's Sphagnum Moss, and I also use Fluker's Coconut Bed and the compressed stuff, and I added all three of them together. Now, why did I do that? Well, I wanna make it firm enough for Yu-Gi-Oh to walk around on and kind of step around, have the star tortoise have some resistance against his feet. And uh, also I want the ability to kind of moisten it and keep humidity in when I want. Uh, because it's open topped, it's going to dry out very quickly. So I'll hit it with a hose and it'll hold onto that humidity. Uh, and it looks good. I think it's a nice look. I just grabbed that little elephant ear plant there. Um, very simple, just put that in, this will grow and add shelter and cover and security for them. And then I built a very quick and easy little hide and I threw some of the sphagnum and reptobark and coconut bedding uh, in there so that again, it'll be more humid. As you know, tortoises, even if they're from dry areas, are gonna want a microclimate. And then we have fresh, clean water. I can pull this plug and I can empty it out, spray it out, clean it, and uh, he'll always have fresh water. I did not add a lid. Um, I don't think I need it with him. Um, I, again, they'll be wheeled in and out uh, every evening. So I'm not really worried about any predators getting to him. He's also gonna be a little bit larger to where I know birds of prey aren't gonna be able to get him. And we don't have a raccoon problem here. Uh, I'm always around and we have the electric fence, but I may eventually add some kind of more security. Remember, this is gonna be temporary. I'll probably wind up giving him another area, or I may in fact build something akin to one of these type cages with a roof so that it just doesn't get rained on incessantly during the wet season. If I can get a roof on him, keep the rain off of him, he should be fine. So I'm gonna change and get a little bit more uh, ready for my visitors and I'll pick it up with our friends, Lee uh, and her daughter, Shannon. All right, so Shannon's here and so is Yu-Gi-Oh. I've been saying his name wrong in the video. I've been calling Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, there he is. This this guy was just a little hatchling when you first got him. Yep. No way. That's cool. What is this? Just some rattles I made. You made rattles? Yes. You're uh, always... some... This is so cool. Apple snails. From apple snails. And these are an invasive species and you yep. just go and find them, huh? Yep. Regular cool. animals who have devoured the snail but have left and... their shells and the little trap doors behind. Yeah, that's really cool. And that's what I was explaining to everybody about what you do is you take animals that look by the way that's a happy tortoise anytime you can plop a tortoise down after a car ride and it starts grazing means it's a happy tortoise and look at how amazing the shell is i mean you being someone who loves uh these animal mm -hmm. shells and you do such beautiful ornamental art mm -hmm. you did a great job on that living art i mean this animal shell mm -hmm is as close to smooth as you're gonna find with a star tortoise, that's really good. And this is Lee, her mom, yeah. Shannon's mom. Yep. And, and um, these guys, uh, you know, become friends of mine for many years. As I mentioned, we did a video before yep. where you called me a Mata Mata. Yep. Because what do I look like now with all this? You're still a Mata Mata. Yeah, very Only good. Only with lots of algae Yeah, exactly. On it. <laughs> that's right. Well, I, I recently cut it. It was down to here. My beard was really long, but I cut Please it down. Please don't remind me. Okay, I won't remind you. Anyway. I like it better when it was like when we first met. Okay. All right. Well, so does my wife. She likes it better when I'm I'm baby faced, but I kind of like having a beard because uh, I can't really grow a lot of hair on the top, so I grow it on my face nowadays. Look at this. Oh, get off of there. So this is really cool. So I, I love what you're doing. And I have a couple of shells. I have some leopard tortoises that passed away and uh, you'll be able to take them. You have to clean them up. Of course. All right, but with, I guess you know how to do that, right? What do you use, peroxide to clean the shells? I use peroxide, bleach, and some, well, I use the hydrogen peroxide for the smaller tortoises because okay. it's a little more delicate, just like right. I used on the apple snails. All right, very cool. Well, are, are, let me ask you, are these a gift for me or are these? Yeah, are they're these for your kids. Oh, very good for Sophie and Leo. They'll love that. Also, I have Yugi supplies. Okay, let's check it out. Do you want to grab Yugi? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh. oh man, he really oh. loves that. So you kept him indoors, right? Yeah. Okay, and I, I just put something together for him today. I think you'll like it. It's got everything he's going to need. Oh, look at all this. brought things for the others, too. Wow, look at all these supplies. It's a long time no see present for Sylvan and his oh. redfoot buddy. Oh, you want it? That's a good idea. That's right. Sylvan lives here, too. There's a lot of redfoots, so you'll forgive me. Mm -hmm. Sylvan's probably grown. We have to try and find him, okay? All right, so we got a lot to get to. Okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and grab. I'll be honest with you. Like, I'm happy to take 
whatever you'd like me to, but I, of okay. course, have a lot of supplies myself. Mm -hmm. But you want to feed some of these carrots. Um, mm -hmm. What do you want to do first? Do you want to get him set up in his house? Well, let's get him set up first. Then okay. we'll take care of the rest of the stuff. All right, cool. Let's go do it. We're going to walk around this way. Okay. Yeah, and while we're walking around, you can see some of the new things that we've built here at the camp. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like the ponds. You could step right on over here. So you haven't been here in a long time. There's a water turtle walking around. That's a that's a pink belly side neck, and it's just kind of wandering around because on rainy days like this, mm -hmm. the water turtles like to come out and walk around. Don't blame them. Yeah, it's nice. And then the other cool thing is, I don't know if you've seen these radiated tortoise. They're similar in appearance to I your star seen tortoise. Them on your videos. You have okay, cool. And then right here is the first pond that I think you have seen. Yeah. Okay, look in the oh yeah. One of the Badiger coming up for a breath, and there's my buddy the Oscar fish. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the new pond, which is Sophia's pond. Me. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. And that's why the star tortoises are also a species that are endangered because these guys don't grow so large, but they wind up having, uh, so people take them as pets and they take them out of the wild, but Yu-Gi-Oh is actually a uh, tortoise that was raised in captivity by me. He was born in captivity. Look at that one coming to say hello. And I was just over here clearing out. Oh, they're saying hello. She's awesome. She loves tortoises. There you go. Yeah, you haven't been here in a while. So come on, let's go hang out. Let's get him set up. I, I know those tortoises are going to be really excited to eat what you've brought them. And it'll be kind of fun to crack open that, that uh, pumpkin and watch all those red foots go to town. Watch your step, this algae's slippy. So I know, I used to call it slimy. Oh yeah? You used when to call it slimy? Kid, when I was a kid, my brother and I used to call them slimers because of the, oh, don't look, mom. Oh, lizard. You get afraid of lizards? She's afraid of monitors. Oh, oh, you can't be afraid of monitors here. Oh my gosh, Slinky's one of the famous. I've had nightmares about lizards? About giant lizards. Oh, well then, we're going to have to keep you away from good old Slinky then. So I just set this up. What do you think? Well, as long as it's not the litter that he's allergic to. Uh, what is the litter he's allergic to? This is all natural stuff we used. I well, used sphagnum and reptobark. What's he allergic to? Well, I bought some litter from the pet shop. It has his picture on it. Okay. And some years later, he started getting sick and all that we brought him to the vet and we had to give him all these injections oh my gosh did he, he had a respiratory problem right. right i Man, think i remember that did. well i think that was because um you know maybe some of the dust so what i've done is i've moistened it and being that it's outside it's gonna be well ventilated i'm definitely gonna keep an eye on him for oh, he's sure gonna love this. yeah this, this is nice and like i said this is just temporary this is something we got oh, set up I for him nice yes yeah. i made everything. a little house for him right there this is beautiful then i didn't have to bring his house no, yeah, perfect. Yeah, so let's see if he'll walk around in here. And what I can also do is maybe we'll break a little bit of cactus off and we'll go ahead and give him a little bit of cactus just so that he can start getting used to it. But my goodness, what a great job you've done with this tortoise. He's sniffing. He's, he's probably going to nibble. It. He's gorgeous. Cool. Yeah, it's, they're beautiful tortoises. Well, he loves the prickly pears of cactus. Oh, does he? Let's give him one. I got <laughs> one right over here. A prickly pear? Well, yeah, well, not the, not the actual pear. I've got the pad. So we'll just go like this. We'll get a nice green one and I'll throw it on. I, I got this little rock, mm -hmm. okay? And I've used the flat rock for him to eat off of so that he can wear his little beak down. So let's see, maybe he'll get interested in that. I don't know. He's probably gonna walk around and explore, mm -hmm. which is fine. I want him to kind of get used to his new little house. This is so cool. Star tortoises are really beautiful tortoises, folks. They're, uh, they're actually native to areas of Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh. Uh, there's also a Burmese star tortoise and a Sri Lankan star tortoise. But the Indians are the most popular here in the United States in the pet trade. And sadly, many of them are brought into the United States in great quantities. So they're becoming more and more rare in their native habitat. And unfortunately, these animals come in uh, not doing very well. They've got respiratory problems. They're underweight. They're loaded with a lot of parasites. So when you can get a tortoise like Yu-Gi-Oh! 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 I'm a bad man. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and he's captive raised. 
that's always going to be uh, the best animal to get because you're not stealing from the wild. Uh, we're just taking care of these animals uh, and being stewards to them as they were born in captivity. So this is going to be a quick little habitat for him that I threw together here today. And uh, we'll let him get used to it. Let's go get that pumpkin. I want to see those redfoot tortoises devour that pumpkin. That's going to be fun. This is Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. So that's like a Japanese anime? That's what I got today. All right. Some of you guys out there, I'm sure, are fans of Japanese animation. And uh, that is really awesome. So what I'm going to do, let's wander over here. I'll show you the new pond. And the, star, the Redfoots now live back here. Oh, looks like they have. Okay. So I can't wait to show you. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go get that pumpkin. We're going to cut it up. And we're going to pick this video back up while we're feeding the tortoises over there. So I'll see you in just a second. Oh, wow, look at the water lilies. They're this beautiful. is so beautiful, yeah. Oh my gosh, but wait, look at this. Look at this horn, this this uh, cow, cow? It's a buffalo. That's a buffalo? Wait a minute, like like buffalo, like from the I mean, Yellowstone? I, or what I, kind of buffalo? I don't really know where Was it a bison? Come, I don't know where it came from. I got it from a, one of those antique or flea markets. Okay. And. They were selling it to me. In North Carolina. In North oh, Carolina. Oh, that's so. really cool. And I showed everyone what you did to the shell so they understand. They know what you uh -huh. do. What's this one? That's out of like a pelvis or it something. It is a pelvis. Holy smokes. A dream catcher made out of a pelvis. And um, is she still got her Facebook page up? Yep. Yeah. And, and where where's your Facebook page? It's Shannon McDermott, right? Shannon Doa. Shannon. Do that's right. Shannon Doa. Uh, we're going to post a spelling uh, on that so you guys can check her out because she'll sell some of these beautiful works of art if you guys are interested in them and I think it's really unique and you guys being animal lovers these were all sourced humanely they were animals that already were deceased and so you don't have to worry about you know anyone hurting animals because uh -huh. she's just basically turning them into uh -huh. works of art even after their uh, death so very cool and these oh. are like old earrings and things like that I found as well yeah that's awesome very very cool very cool the best thing is i think this buffalo is probably still a young calf because when i found it its baby teeth were falling out oh okay and yeah. underneath you can see the, the adult teeth oh, are yeah. coming out very perceptive and then i love uh, again guys look at how she gets the colors <laughs> everywhere so really cool all right we got to get this tortoises fed man and that's a big pumpkin let me go grab it Oh, this is awesome. Lego's getting some pumpkin. It's the best time of year for pumpkin, obviously, with Halloween right around the corner. And every time Shannon comes over, the tortoises get a feast. Look at this one jumping on over the other. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I love it. I love when you come to visit. And this time is fun because I get to get a gift. An animal that was raised up by Shannon just came back home here. And it's going to live here. And I'm um, really excited about that. So that's pretty cool, Shannon. What else do you got there? Sweet potato? Sweet potato and some tomatoes. But the truth is, I just want to find you a new home with other star tortoises. Yeah, so I'm going to have to, looks like I'm going to have to find a female star tortoise for them. What do you think? Yes, as long as they don't end up like the others. Right. Uh, exactly. Well, what might happen, to be perfectly honest, is he may go live with a friend of mine that actually has a bunch of star tortoises. So I'll let you know if that happens, but I definitely want to keep him for a while and make sure that he's happy and, uh, healthy. and healthy, exactly. So um, that was the reason it, it just rained so much here. That's why Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu Yu sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh um, actually went to live with Shannon because she kept him indoors. So we may have to do that down the road, but we'll keep a good eye on him, okay? All right, we're going to let Shannon hang out and enjoy her time here and feed. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Check out the video we did a few years ago if you want to see some more of Shannon's art. I'm going to have a link to her Facebook page in the description below if you're interested in buying anything from this one-of-a-kind artist and one-of-a-kind human beings that I've met. So thanks. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for the gifts. All right, we'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I think these tortoises are going to be busy for a while. What do you think? Well, it's obvious. I think I already found them. You did? Which one's Sylvan? Oh, there you go. Guys, look at that. Look at him. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, guys, we'll see you later, man. Take care.